what's going on thank you for the people who bought training thank you for the people who are about to buy training and shout out to the nerd tribe i was really just checking out something that i thought was hilarious there's this comment that's being posted someone posted it today let me see let me see if i can find it let me see if i can find it let's see uh where is it where is it where is it can't find it but it's um a comment that i've consistently seen all across youtube something about making money wisdom it is common and this is where i get the title uh, cookie cake and punch when i posted that video last year talking about r kelly and my exploits People became very, very angry. Angry because I was responding to comments and blocking and deleting the comments. And people, people were very much wedded to the comments. I mean, it just kind of blew my mind how people became so attached. Uh, they became fixated on the comments, right? And, you know, it, 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 it got to be kind of crazy at one point because I literally had people messaging me, stop deleting comments, stop deleting comments. And where I'm going with this is that people place a high premium on things that don't provide a return. Like, let's say you put a comment up on YouTube and gets 300 likes and you keep going back and checking it because people are liking your comment. How much money does that put in your pocket? How much do those likes, getting those likes make your life better because i like seriously there there's a high premium because you know one of the things i do i do uh police my comments because one of the neat little features of youtube is if i block someone it automatically deletes their comment so that's cool but one of the things that i'm just i'm just seeing is this overwhelming thirst for attention thirst for attention and it's rather pathetic because you have people who want attention more than they want money Um, it's, it's kind of crazy because here's where I'm at. Um, YouTube is kind of going through a renaissance, right? And I'm seeing a bunch of felonious, not useful, not helpful content, really winning in the YouTube algorithm. And 
for me, I want to be helpful. I want to be of service. I want to provide you guys content that you can use and make your life better. And today I'm in the office. Today is a car day, um, dealing with cars. I'm getting ready to make some, some big changes. Um, because what I am seeing is you can come on YouTube and you can provide entertainment. Entertainment. If your entertainment value is really, really high, you can win in the YouTube algorithm. And for me, um, one of the big changes is I am going to focus more on B School for Hustlers and the corporate game because the content over there, because you know, the what's going on in the economy, frankly, I'm getting kind of tired of that because it's the same old, same old. Um, you know, the economy is crashing. Um, I had a conversation with a guy today because uh, I was driving. I saw he had a house for rent. Very interesting conversation. Uh, the guy, the house is paid off. Sounds like an older gentleman. And he was just looking at the market. And he told me some insights that I did not know. He had the house appraised. And he said he, he knows some people. And he said literally these folks who are home appraisers have not had work in months. That's a sign that the real estate market is dramatically correcting. Um, and this guy, you know, the house is paid off. He hasn't even thought about Airbnb. He's just like, you know, I want to get me a long-term renter. And um, at some point in the future, they want to sell the house. So, and then I also had a conversation with my mechanic. I have not one, not two three cars in the shop that have been there for months waiting on parts. The part situation is getting worse. So there's the YouTube economy and then there's the real economy. And I'm really going to start focusing more so on the real economy. In my video, like all these people talking about the diesel shortage, 1970s, we had the oil embargo where OPEC was like, we ain't sending your ass no oil. And nothing stopped. We had gas rationing. I could see we may get to a point where we have rationing. And, you know, people's talking about, you know, that's going to use as an excuse to raise the price of diesel. Hello? Inflation has been running amok all year. This ain't nothing new. Gas has gone up. Food has gone up. Milk, cheese, eggs have gone up. So whether there was a shortage or not, the price of diesel was still going up, player. <laughs> it was still going up. And I'm, I'm just really, really revamping, um, looking at what I'm doing. And like I said, I'm, I'm making some, some changes, some wholesale changes. I am making some big, big changes. Um, one of the things I'm, you know, because like I said, I'm not going to speak on what I'm going to do until I really decide what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it. Because one of the things um, I really, really want to do is start a movement of people who are intentional, people who have purpose. Because the cookies, cake, and punch crowd, these guys, they're just here for entertainment value. They don't really want to do anything. They don't want to start a business. They really don't want to work that hard. And that's what I want to develop is a tribe of people who are willing to put in the work. And I, I'm not the only one. There was a Facebook group. There was an ad on YouTube that I followed and I went through the prompts and it led me to a Facebook group. And I actually put that I was just, uh, you know, to get in the Facebook group, you had to answer questions. And I answered the questions as bad as I could. Like, you know, um, I, I wanted to make $5,000 a month and everything. And they didn't let me in the group. 
So what is happening is people are starting to really double down, triple down on the people who are serious. They want to get people who are really going to put the effort in. And this is really a small crowd. It's really a small crowd because the, the average person, you know, follow up on my video, average people, the average person doesn't really want to work that hard. I mean, it's just, just facts. They don't really want to work that hard. And to do the things that I wish for you guys, I wish people were wealthy. I wish people were happy. I wish people were successful. Um, they don't want to put in that kind of work to reach those type of goals. So I know that messaging is a huge part of YouTube. And I have been guilty of putting out some funky, incongruent messaging, which has gotten me the audience that I have. And uh, I'm, I'm going to change that in the future. Um, I'm going to change that. Because one of the things that I see um, going forward, you know, having the conversation with this guy who's renting his house, having the conversation with my mechanics, things are going to get worse. They're just going to get worse. And we have a lot of people who are just literally playing around. This is playing around. And it's going to catch up with them because, you know, I'm sitting here strategizing for the next 10 years. Uh, that's one of the reasons I'm in the office. I, I got stuff I got to do in here. I got things to set up because the decisions that you make today have ramifications 10 years in the future. So I have to look at my decisions and hopefully you're looking at your decisions and you have to really understand that the reaction or the repercussions that you create for yourself are very much dependent upon the decisions that you're making right now. And, you know, it's, it's just telling because like, I mean, I'm having a hard time selling these last seven cars. And, you know, this is a real marketplace. I'm dealing with the real marketplace. I'm dealing with people, real people with real money. And folks just they don't have the money. They just don't have the money. And what I have to do literally to sell cars is take all my ads down take new pictures, refresh, and repost. And honestly, it's a pain in the butt to consistently do that. Now, Craigslist makes it easy. Craigslist, you can just delete it, wait a day, repost it. You don't have to do anything. Facebook Marketplace is, is a disaster. Um, I've had sales. Most of my sales have come from Craigslist. I had a few sales from Facebook Marketplace, so it's kind of worth posting on Facebook Marketplace. But, um, yeah, that's what I'm doing today. I just wanted to drop this thought that was at the top of my head because the cookies, cake, and punch, because what I'm seeing going on with YouTube in the black sector, I should say, because... Um, a white guy can come on YouTube and say the same things I'm saying and literally blow up. But, you know, I, I really have to rethink my position on the YouTube because the algorithm, it's, you know, for me personally, it recommends crap to me that I am not interested in. Literally, I have had to spend a lot of time just hitting the little three little dots to redirect and reorient my content because the YouTube algorithm is recommending stuff that I have no interest in. And I think that the YouTube algorithm is recommending this stuff to me because simply because I'm black. 
That's it. Not because I'm looking for it, not because I want to see it, but simply um, there's been a bunch of black folks who've identified with this content and they figure, well, maybe, maybe you would like it too. And I am vigorously refuting that because I don't want it. I don't want it. But that's all I got to say. Uh, once again, thank you for the folks who bought training. We're getting ready to do some stuff a little different. So be on the lookout for that.